a spine-chilling encounter has returned to haunt our world. Umuamua, whose strange path puzzled scientists in 2017, is back, breaking all known laws of physics, zooming towards us with an eerie purpose and stirring up a storm of questions in the scientific community. Is this a sign of an alien takeover or a quiet observer of our fragile planet? Are we on the brink of understanding or facing our end? Join us as we delve into scientists' warning of Umuamua's direct impact in two weeks, it is not stopping. Envision the term alien probes and you might find yourself plunged into the realm of 1960s sci-fi abduction tales, where extraterrestrial surgeons wielded arcane instruments to probe and prod human subjects under the eerie glow of spacecraft lights. Alternatively, your mind might drift to the mysterious object known as Umuamua, an interstellar wanderer that captured the imagination of astronomers and conspiracy theorists alike. Emuamua, a rocky, cigar-shaped enigma tinged with a reddish hue, made its grand entrance into our solar system in 2017, becoming the first confirmed emissary from another star to grace our cosmic neighborhood. Its very name, Umuamua, derived from Hawaiian, translates poetically as a messenger from afar arriving first, hinting at its cosmic significance. In the autumn of 2017, this cosmic nomad traversed the inner solar system, drawing attention not only for its peculiar shape but also for its origin beyond our own sun's dominion. Dubbed one I Umuamua by astronomers, the designation one I denoted its status as the inaugural interstellar interloper to be identified within our solar confines. The saga of Umuamua began on October 19, 2017, when University of Hawaii astronomer Rob Werrick stumbled upon its fleeting presence in data captured by the Vigilant Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System. Initially spotted 21 million miles away, its trajectory brought it within a mere 15 million miles of Earth's vicinity, offering a tantalizingly close encounter with our celestial visitor. Yet, like a wisp of stardust in the night sky, Umuamua swiftly slipped away, propelled to a velocity of 54.2 meters per second by a gravitational nudge from the sun. Its departure marked the conclusion of a brief but momentous visit, leaving scientists scrambling to glean whatever insights they could from its passing. The window to observe Umuamua was fleeting, its diminutive size and rapid motion limiting our opportunity to unravel its cosmic secrets. Yet, in its wake, it left a lingering sense of wonder and speculation. As Umuamua fades into the depths of space, leaving us with more questions than answers about what other mysteries lurk in the vast cosmos, waiting to be uncovered. Probe technology has long fascinated humanity, sparking our curiosity about the vast unknowns of space and the potential for life beyond our planet. Whether these marvels of engineering originate from distant galaxies or are crafted by our own hands, Probes stand as emissaries of science, venturing into the cosmic void to unravel its mysteries. These intrepid explorers, equipped with an array of scientific instruments, serve as our eyes and ears in the unfathomable reaches of space. Transmitting data back to Earth via radio signals, they offer glimpses into worlds beyond our imagination, each probe tailored to study the unique environments it encounters. Since the dawn of the space age in the 1950s, humanity has launched a myriad of probes, each pushing the boundaries of our understanding further. Yet, as we peer into the depths of the cosmos, the tantalizing prospect of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations looms on the horizon. Imagine the monumental task facing an alien civilization seeking to send a probe to Earth from the distant confines of the Andromeda galaxy. With a journey spanning 2.5 million light-years, such an endeavor would test the limits of both distance and time. To return their probe to Earth before their civilization's demise, they would need to defy the cosmic speed limit, harnessing technologies beyond our current grasp. Could these advanced beings have unlocked the secrets of theoretical wormholes or warp drives, transcending the known laws of physics? The possibilities tantalize the imagination, sparking intense speculation among astronomers and physicists alike. Yet, even if extraterrestrial engineers surmount the challenges of interstellar travel, formidable obstacles remain. Their probes must endure the harsh rigors of space, braving radiation and cosmic debris with unwavering resilience. Crafting materials capable of withstanding such extremes demands ingenuity and innovation, pushing the boundaries of material science to new frontiers. In the quest for toughness and durability, researchers strive to develop materials that defy conventional limits. 
Balancing hardness with resilience, these materials promise to revolutionize space exploration, paving the way for probes that withstand the rigors of cosmic voyages. Amidst these reflections on the wonders of space exploration, the enigmatic interstellar object Oumuamua emerges as a testament to the mysteries that lie beyond our grasp. After years of speculation, NASA's Associate Administrator for Science at the time of Oumuamua's discovery, Thomas Zerbuchen, made a groundbreaking statement in 2017. He declared that they finally possessed concrete evidence of the existence of interstellar objects. Following this revelation, another interstellar wanderer, Tu Aya Borisov, emerged onto the scene in August 2019. Originally named C-2019 Q4, Tu Aya Borisov marked the first observed instance of a rogue comet and the second recorded interstellar intruder after Oumuamua. Its discovery was credited to Gennady Borisov, a dedicated amateur astronomer and telescope maker from Crimea, on August 29, 2019. Unlike typical comets bound to the Sun, 2 Ir Borisov boasts a heliocentric orbital eccentricity of 3.36, signifying its lack of allegiance to our solar system. It traversed the ecliptic of the solar system towards the end of October 2019 and reached its closest proximity to the Sun, just over two astronomical units away, on December 8, 2019. Notably, its closest encounter with Earth occurred on December 28, 2019. In November of the same year, astronomers from Yale University marveled at the comet's enormity, revealing that its tail spanned 14 times the size of our planet. They remarked on the profound humbling experience of witnessing Earth's diminutive stature in comparison to this celestial visitor. In March 2020, observations unveiled the comet's fragmentation, a phenomenon further confirmed in April of that year. In contrast to Oumuamua, which stood out for its peculiar lack of a tail and coma, Borisov exhibited typical comet characteristics, adorned with both tail and coma, a gaseous envelope enveloping its icy core. While predictions of interstellar objects predated Oumuamua's discovery, it did not align with astronomers' expectations. Despite its odd shape, Oumuamua seemed to emit gases as it journeyed through space. The prevailing theory suggests the sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from distant solar systems. Interstellar objects are propelled into the cosmos by the gravitational forces of gas giants or colossal collisions. That fragment protoplanets. Early assessments of 2 Ir Borisov's nucleus diameter ranged from 1.4 to 16 kilometers. Unlike comets within our solar system, 2 Ir Borisov underwent noticeable shrinkage during its passage through our solar system, shedding at least 0.4% of its mass before perihelion. Additionally, the magnitude of non-gravitational acceleration sets an upper limit of 0.4 km on its nucleus size, consistent with prior observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, which pegged the upper limit at 0.5 km. Despite its proximity to Earth, which remained beyond 300 million km, direct determination of its size and shape via radar was infeasible. Although occultation by a star could offer insights, Predicting such an event required precise orbital calculations, and detection would demand a network of small telescopes. As the inaugural interstellar visitor on record, Oumuamua offers a glimpse into the dynamics of planetary systems beyond our own. Its peculiar form adds another layer of intrigue to its discovery. Oumuamua stretches up to a quarter mile in length, boasting an extraordinary elongated shape, potentially ten times longer than its width. Such proportions surpass any known asteroid or comet within our solar system. This elongation not only surprises but also promises fresh insights into the genesis of distant solar systems. Designated 1 IE 2017 U1 Lumuamua, it entered the spotlight on October 19, 2017, thanks to the University of Hawaii's pan stars one telescope, funded by NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program. Initially tagged as a comet, subsequent observations after its slingshot maneuver past the Sun on September 9, 2017, at an astounding velocity of 196,000 miles per hour, revealed no telltale signs of cometary activity. Re-evaluation led to a temporary reclassification as an asteroid until its slight acceleration hinted at comet-like behavior. Initially resembling a colossal cylinder, Oumuamua appeared to be ten times longer than its width. However, subsequent refinements in measurements corrected this impression, portraying it more accurately as a flattened shape akin to a pancake. 
Notably, objects like the minor planet Arakov, visited by NASA's New Horizons probe on New Year's Day 2019, exhibit similar forms in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. Analysis of its light curve, tracing variations in brightness during its celestial journey, unveiled its dimensions and contours. When its broader side faced us, Oumuamua appeared brighter. This significant fluctuation in brightness points to its highly elongated nature, roughly ten times longer than it is wide, with intricate, convoluted features, noted Meech. Moreover, its reddish hue, akin to outer solar system objects, coupled with its inert nature, devoid of any dust, signifies its dense composition, likely comprising rock and potentially metals, devoid of water or ice. Its surface's reddish tint suggests eons of irradiation from cosmic rays. These characteristics imply that Kumuamua has traversed the Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years, detached from any stellar system, before its serendipitous rendezvous with our own. The specific stellar origin of Oumuamua remains a baffling enigma. However, in 2018, meticulous research unveiled a crucial clue about its journey, tracing Umuamua's path back to its origins revealed that approximately one million years ago, the object traversed in proximity to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being the closest encounter. This discovery raises the intriguing possibility that Umuamua either originated from this stellar system or has been adrift in the vastness of space for an exceedingly long period. Unlike the orderly orbits of the planets, asteroids, and comets within our solar system, Umuamua's trajectory stands out for its hyperbolic nature. This term denotes its high-speed approach towards the Sun, where the gravitational influence of our star could only minimally alter its course, preventing it from being captured into a circular orbit. Moving at an astonishing relative speed of 16.36% as 23 million miles to our star, Umuamua's journey originated from roughly the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra. Moreover, its incoming motion deviates six degrees from the solar apex, the direction of the sun's movement relative to local stars, aligning closely with the anticipated trajectory of objects originating from outside our solar system. Confirming its interstellar origin, astronomers solidified their conclusion by mid-November, after meticulously analyzing observations spanning 80 days. One of the most striking features of Oumuamua's orbit is its exceptional eccentricity, measured at 1.20, the highest ever recorded until the discovery of 2 IR Borisov in August 2019. Eccentricity exceeding 1.0 indicates that an object surpasses the Sun's escape velocity, suggesting its unbound trajectory towards interstellar space. While encounters with planets can yield eccentricity slightly above 1.0, Umuamua's unprecedented eccentricity defies such explanations. Even hypothetical undiscovered planets within our solar system fail to account for their trajectory or the observed velocity boost. Hence, Umuamua's characteristics unequivocally point to its interstellar origins, shrouding it in intrigue and speculation. By mid-November, astronomers were certain that it was an interstellar object. Based on observations spanning 80 days, Umuamua's orbital eccentricity is 1.20, the highest ever observed until 2 IR Borisov was discovered in August 2019. An eccentricity exceeding 1.0 means an object exceeds the Sun's escape velocity, is not bound to the solar system, and may escape to interstellar space. While an eccentricity slightly above 1.0 can be obtained by encounters with planets, as happened with the previous record holder, C 1980E1, Umuamua's eccentricity is so high that it could not have been obtained through an encounter with any of the planets in the solar system. Even undiscovered planets in the solar system cannot account for Umuamua's trajectory or boost its speed to the observed value. For these reasons, it can only be of interstellar origin. On the 26th of October, two precovery observations from the Catalina Sky Survey were found dated the 14th and the 17th of October. A two-week observation arc verified a strongly hyperbolic trajectory. It has a hyperbolic excess velocity, velocity at infinity, of 26.33 km per second, its speed relative to the Sun when in interstellar space. Immediately following its discovery, astronomers mobilized telescopes worldwide, including the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, to observe and analyze the newly spotted celestial visitor. The urgency was paramount, necessitating rapid data collection to ascertain crucial information about the object's orbit, luminosity, and spectral characteristics. 
utilizing the FORS instrument on the ESO telescope, astronomers, spearheaded by Karen Meech from the Institute for Astronomy in Hawaii, meticulously combined observations from various large telescopes. By employing for distinct filters, they meticulously studied Umuamua's behavior, revealing a remarkable finding, Umuamua exhibits an unprecedented brightness variation, fluctuating by a factor of 10 as it completes a rotation on its axis every 7.3 hours. This unique characteristic sets Fumuamua apart from any known solar system asteroid or comet, its elongated shape showcasing a ratio between length and width far exceeding any previously observed celestial body. Even as Fumuamua journeyed away from Earth, several prominent ground-based telescopes diligently tracked its trajectory. NASA's observations revealed Umuamua hurtling through space at a staggering speed of approximately 85,700 miles per hour relative to the Sun. Its trajectory, angled approximately 20 degrees above the plane of the solar system's planetary orbits, led it beyond Mars's orbit around November 2018, with a projected passage through Jupiter's orbit in May 2018, culminating in an exit beyond Saturn's orbit by January 2019. As it ventures farther from our solar system, Umuamua's trajectory points towards the constellation Pegasus. Among the instruments monitoring Umuamua's journey, the Hubble Space Telescope stood out for its capability to observe the object for an extended period. By merging data from the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope, astronomers captured detailed images of Lumuamua, revealing it as a minuscule speck against the vast expanse of space. Initial orbital calculations suggested Umuamua originated from the direction of the bright star Vega in the Lyra constellation. However, due to the considerable time elapsed since Lumuamua embarked on its interstellar journey, Vega was not in proximity to Lumuamua's path approximately 300,000 years ago, despite Lumuamua's rapid speed of approximately 59,000 miles per hour. Astronomers speculate that interstellar objects akin to Lumuamua traverse the inner solar system roughly once a year, yet their faintness and elusive nature have rendered them undetected until now. Recent advancements in survey telescopes, such as Pan Stars 1, have enhanced our capability to detect and study such interstellar visitors. Paul Cho Das, manager of NASA's Center for Near Earth Object Studies, expressed profound fascination with the discovery, describing Lumuamua as an intriguing visitor from a distant star system, unlike any known object within our solar neighborhood. As Lumuamua swiftly traverses the Kuiper Belt, beyond the observational reach of current telescopes, Questions linger regarding the possibility of its return trajectory or even the tantalizing prospect of it being an extraterrestrial probe. Origins, possibilities, and beyond according to Biali and Leb's calculations based on the rates at which the object would encounter deep space fluxes and the concentration of gas and dust in the interstellar medium, the researchers calculated that Umuamua could potentially travel at least 16,000 light-years from its home system, whichever that may be. The object's origin is still unknown. It should be noted that Biali and Lab do not assert in this analysis that Umuamua is undeniably an extraterrestrial spacecraft, nonetheless, they hold this possibility in high regard. Maybe it's an alien spacecraft that has landed on Earth by accident, or it may be a piece of space trash. According to the study, it could also be an active spacecraft that was sent here to examine our solar system. According to Loeb, there are arguments in favor of the second theory. For starters, Umuamua's very discovery was something of an anomaly. If the visitor is a member of a random population, stumbling across it the way we did suggests that every star in the Milky Way ejects into interstellar space 1,000 trillion such objects over its lifetime, Lub said. These numbers are based on calculations performed by Lub and his colleagues a decade ago. Our solar system doesn't shed so many Umuamua-like objects. Furthermore, the kinematic space called the local standard of rest, which includes our region of the Milky Way galaxy, nearly coincides with Umuamua's motion. That is the reason why the object's system of origin has remained elusive. Umuamua is heading toward the constellation Pegasus and is now far beyond the orbit of Neptune. It is passing through the Kuiper Belt, a ring of icy bodies near the edge of the solar system, and is now beyond the reach of our telescopes. It will never come back to Earth. 